that was my first test with my new trap. This year I've had a real issue with rodents tearing up the garden. Um, the one video that I made of the rodent repellent a week or so ago, it was useless. They, um, they, they still, they're, they're chewing tomato plants and pepper plants right down to the ground and dragging them away. Um, and I know it's the moles and the chipmunks. I've seen a few red squirrels in there and I watched them for a long time and they don't seem to be bothering anything. But, uh, I bought a commercial product and that didn't work either. It was a spray and honest to God, I took a pile of bird seed, put it on top of one of the stones in my garden and saturated it with this commercial spray. And it couldn't have been, <clears throat> mosquitoes are out. It couldn't have been half an hour later, I look out there and there's a chipmunk sitting on top of it eating the seed. So I'm guessing that was more like a salad dressing for them than a, uh, than a repellent. Um, so it kind of left me with two options to trap them or to exterminate them and um, you know you, you put a lot of effort into a garden and time you know getting the seeds growing and so forth and to have them torn apart and we do a lot of canning and uh, preserving so this is this is really not acceptable but anyway just a quick overview of this trap and I think one flaw in it is it's not deep enough. I was watching that mouse that was in here and, and he could jump darn near halfway up this bucket. So I'm guessing a chipmunk may actually be able to jump up and out of it. Um, that mole, obviously, they're not much of a jumper, so he's never getting out. But anyway, what I used was a piece of uh, a beach of a, of a branch, a fresh branch, and it's fairly heavy and that's what I wanted. Then I took this short piece of uh, uh, pine and I set it so that it was just a little bit heavy to one side when this is standing straight up. Bait the other side so that it sits level and it causes this side to be the, um, the trigger side, I guess you would call it. So when something gets on it, it's going to spin, but when it's sitting upright, and I don't know if you can see that, it, it spins pretty freely. and. Um, it'll reset itself and it obviously works because that field mouse they're pretty tiny so it, it, it caught him but like I said my main goal was the chipmunks because I'm pretty sure that's what's toasting my garden so anyway I just wanted to uh, to bring you guys along on my next effort to control the rodents in the garden and um, if it comes to having to go my last route I probably will not video that because I, I really don't want to do that. I don't like to do that. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that feel the same way. Um, but again, my, my garden is primary at this point. It's already the middle of June. And I'm running out of time to keep replanting things and, and have a successful uh, um, harvest, so to speak. Things tend to get cold up here. October, I've seen a frost. And um, as a matter of fact, the other morning it was 39 degrees up here. I think it was June 11th. And that's, that's really odd. So it's got me a little concerned as to what the, uh, the end of the season is going to bring as far as temperatures and frost. But anyway, today's Tuesday. And I have this week off from work, so I may make a few videos of what's going on, what I'm doing. Another one about the bees. They're really doing great. And um, we'll just keep chugging along. You guys have a great day, and uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks.